Hey. Hey. You upset about something? Fine. Really. Why am I a bridesmaid? What? Why am I standing up there next to you? <laughs> My sisters are bridesmaids. If I was a woman, I would be a bridesmaid. That's a fact. And the fact that you're being so gendery when you're like the least gendery person I know. Okay, so now you're going to sit in judgment of my wedding. Yeah, maybe. I mean, why are you even having this wedding? <laughs> I'm having this wedding because I want to bring my world together with his for a night and stand- A weekend, not a night. And stand in front- A third of three weekends. And stand in front of all the people we love to show them that we are an us and to celebrate with a big party. Yeah, okay. And except for you, everyone is actually, believe it or not, happy for me. You are the only one who seems to not get it. I'm the only one. Yeah, Jordan, you are the only one. You are the only one and I'm sorry, but I cannot believe that I'm out here trying to justify this to you. I can't believe that my best friend, my greatest ally, my biggest cheerleader, is the one who is sitting out here having a little pity party for himself on what is supposed to be the happiest day of my life. Pity party. Yeah, a pity party. And for what? Because you're not a bridesmaid. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I try really hard to be a compassionate person, but you really test the fucking limits sometimes. I test the limits? Yeah, Jordan. Uh-huh, uh-huh, you test the limits. You test the fucking uh -huh. limits. Yeah, do you want to fucking expand on that? Do you want to fucking expand on with that? With pleasure. With mother fucking pleasure. Let's start with tonight. Exhibit A, the hen party, which comes on the heels of the bachelorette party, where we all had to buy you props and pants and cuisine arts and all this shit for a kitchen that you'll never use because you don't cook. And don't pretend that we didn't notice when we came to your flat tonight, the reason you were all sweaty was because he had just fucked you. So you get fucked by your fucking amazing fiance and then we buy you drinks and dinner and fucking more drinks. I guess this budget that you're supposedly on doesn't apply to your friends. So I flew from Ireland, May from France, Neve from Switzerland, Fucking Sarah, dude from New Zealand. People are literally spending thousands of pounds to throw you a hen party whose purpose I couldn't articulate even if I wanted to. And then the weekend you have for your wedding, an entire fucking weekend, where we're all supposed to somehow get to Berlin, which means flying, renting cars, and booking a hotel for three fucking nights because your rehearsal dinner is on the Friday, but your actual wedding's not till Sunday. So let's spend all of our money to honor you for making one fucking decision, which honestly, frankly, has no bearing on me whatsoever except that it somehow enshrines the officially non-existent role I'll play in your life from now on. Except those occasional court jester and pitiable reminder of what happens to those who never find anybody and then spend the rest of their lives attending the life events of their friends and then goes home, gets into bed alone and stares up at the ceiling trying to understand how everything went to shit. I don't want you to come to my wedding, Jordan. Good. Don't want to come anyway. 